These mountains are part of the Cascade Mountain Range, a range of mountains running from southern British Columbia through northern California. The Cascade Range contains numerous volcanoes, such as Lassen Peak, Mount Shasta, the recently erupted Mount St. Helens, and even Crater Lake, the former site of a huge volcano which exploded, leaving this large caldera, which eventually filled in with water. You decide. What force formed these volcanic mountains? The movement of lithospheric plates is responsible for forming these volcanic mountains. Geologic activity, like earthquakes and volcanic activity, typically occurs where these plates meet, called plate boundaries. As we already stated, plates are in a constant state of slow motion. Two plates interact with each other in one of three ways. They can move away from each other, move toward each other, or slide past each other. The arrows on this diagram of the lithospheric plates indicate the direction the plates are moving at some plate boundaries. Off the coast of Oregon, Washington, and southern British Columbia is a small plate called the Juan de Fuca plate. The place where it meets the North American plate is called a convergent boundary. A convergent boundary is a place where two plates collide. The Juan de Fuca plate is an oceanic plate and is denser than the continental North American plate, which overrides it. The process of one plate plunging beneath another is called subduction. As a result of this process, magma is forced to the surface, leading to the formation of volcanoes. Subduction zones are often referred to as destructive zones because the oceanic lithosphere is destroyed in these areas where it is subducted. Deep sea trenches are common characteristics found in subduction zones. The Japanese islands are the result of magma being forced to the surface as a consequence of subduction. Encircling the Pacific Plate are areas of convergence leading to the formation of volcanoes. For this reason, the area is often referred to as the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is also known for intense earthquake activity. When continents converge, as is the case of India and Asia colliding, mountains often form. Along this convergence zone, the highest continental mountains in the world, the Himalayas, were formed as the two plates collided and compressed up the crust. This process is similar to pushing a carpet against a wall. See how folds are formed? Simulating the process by which mountains are formed by colliding plates. A couple more topics I want to talk about, and I want to talk about um, the, sort of the theory before plate tectonics that talked about, you know, uh, convection cells that causes. There was a guy by the name of Dr. Edward Seuss. Found a funny name because, of course, Dr. Seuss. Well, this is not the same Dr. Seuss who wrote all those books. Um, he was the kind of the guy that, who came up with the idea of, well, Pangea. He actually called it Gondol World or something to that effect. But what his theory was, he, he, didn't, he thought that the Earth was shrinking. And as the Earth shrunk, it also wrinkled. He thought of it kind of like an apple. He thought the earth itself was sort of shrinking, sort of drying up like a prune or like an apple. Now, if you look at this apple right here, you'll notice that the apple has uh, wrinkles on it. So he thought this is what caused the mountains to be formed because the earth was shrinking. Turns out he was wrong, but that was the old theory that he came up with, or that was the theory before plate tectonics. It's just good to know a little bit of the history of how things work. And lastly, I want to talk about something called continental accretion. Now, there's a word, accretion. All right. Let's actually define the word. Here's some pictures, and I'll come back to those um, here. Accretion is a process by which materials added to a tectonic plate or a landmass. This material may be sediment, volcanic arcs, seamounts, or other igneous feeders. Now, what in the world? Write that down. But what in the world does it mean? Well, let's look at a picture right here. Turns out, if you were to like analyze fossils uh, in the rock formations, you, in all that kind of stuff along um, the North American plate, okay? Do 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 you would find um, these things here would actually match up best with these things here. You'd think that 
these rocks here would match up with these rocks here. Turns out they don't. You see, because as the continents are being formed and we have all this movement of, of plates, stuff from the bottom of the ocean gets sort of mounted up, accretion, it accretes, I think is how you would say it, uh, um, and it gets all uh, stuffed onto the earth. Uh, or under the continent. So these parts of the continent are, are not, they're sort of the, the new parts of the continent, and these are the old parts of the continent. So these are sort of the original continents, and these right here, these um, continental accretion, these pieces here and here, let's say, including all of Florida, Louisiana, Maine, all this whole area, these have been sort of scraped up from the bottom of the ocean, and they are now a part of our continent. But um, it's part of this whole uh, process. And in fact, interestingly enough, they think it's caused by several times over the course of the history of the world. It's not just one um, divergent plate boundary because the Earth has been moving around for a long time. That's also true here in this picture. Um, um, if we look on the coast of California, we've got like the San Andreas Fault right through here. Um, actually, let's look at a different picture. We've got this one. Here we have uh, the San Andreas Fault, the uh, coast of California is right here, and the continent, and you see all these things, this is actually what we call a geologic map, which we'll learn about later on in this, uh, uh, in the book or whatever, in our, our discussions. This geologic map actually shows these, these, these rocks have all come and been scraped up off the bottom of the ocean, and they're therefore called continental accretion. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are finished. We are done and fino, and I hope you have enjoyed the podcast from the hotel in Monte Vista, Colorado.